Hello everyone, I'm Panel Lemon Tart and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be building in blocks break as usual, but each room is one tile bigger than the last. I've been seeing this challenge in the Sims community as of late, so credit goes to them. Now, let's get into the video and hopefully this challenge won't be too hard. <laughs> To begin the challenge, I placed down my one tiled room and afterwards I decided to add the two tiled room right above it. I went into this without any plan whatsoever by the way, so you can literally see me struggling to place the three tiled room. Naturally this area at the front would be the entrance, but the rooms were so small that I don't think I can make them into anything workable. This moment right here was when I realized I was no longer in Bloxburg, because girl this is Tetris. After the four tiled room, I thought a five tiled room was big enough to cater for the living room area, but I was totally wrong. That's going to have to be a bedroom or a bathroom. I was also placing the rooms in a way where they were all touching from smallest to biggest order. I just assumed that was the rule. I really should have done my research first. Now we are getting into the bigger rooms. This one is going to have seven tiles and I think I can fit a living room or a kitchen in here, uh, but it's gonna be pretty tight, but it'll do. Next is the eight tiled room and I decided on a long, boring rectangular room. As I drew the nine tiled room, I found that I accidentally trapped the five tiled room in the middle, so it's not gonna have any windows, which was really worrying. And with that, I placed my 10 tiled room. Now you have to make this creation look like a house and not a maze. The roof design I gave this house is pretty basic and honestly it reminds me of a farmhouse, so I just went along with that idea. I added pillars and extended some of them to give it that barn feel. I don't think I've ever been to a country house before, but I've always associated them with nice decking. So with the basement roof, I made that come true. Decking steps were also added, but I had to place it on a basic shape in the basement, but honestly it looks hella cute. Because our whole floor is elevated, I had to use the variable place height when placing our doors, and that's when it hit me. I was practically making a house for a hobbit. With the placement of the doors, I really had to decide what room is what. And in some instances, I used door frames to cheat the system and connect two rooms together. This was a really, really, really long process, so um, no one has the time for that, so we're time traveling to when I was placing down the windows. I really like my choice of windows because it really gives that country vibe and plus they were really cheap. I also had to use taller fences for the illusion of having smaller fences for the deck. I then acquired help from the structures department to make our country house look more cute and homey. And after deciding on a color palette, I wanted to add a realistic touch to our build and put a little dirt just underneath our platforms. Now we can finally move on to decorating. And with decorating, we are finalizing which room is going to be what. For our biggest room, the 10 tiled room, I thought it would make sense for it to be a kitchen. And a 9 tiled room was destined to be a dining room, so I added a square table to fit its square shape. That leaves our 7 tiled room to become the living room as it had easy access to the front entrance of the house. The 5 tiled room was the one I was the most worried about if you remember, because it didn't have any windows, and apparently too small to even fit a single bed. So I had no choice but to make it into a toddler room. Still no windows though. The two tiled room was easily a toilet because what else can fit in there? I also had the great idea of making the toilet connect with the three tiled room making that the bathroom which then had access to the four tiled room which I decided was going to be a closet. So ultimately it will have two doors, two entrances and I know this isn't common at all but some houses do have these types of shared bathrooms trust me. Um, and I have no idea if I explained that right so just wait for the tour if you're confused. But uh, to make you more confused, I connected the closet which was connected to the bathroom to our main 8 tiled room. Our 6 tiled room then became an entrance area but I decided to add a little toddler play area there as well. And if you can see that small corner with the carpet, that's our 1 tiled room with a door frame. And uh, yeah, I just made it a part of the hallway. <laughs> we are nearly there guys, this is the part where I became dirt obsessed while decorating our outdoor area. And I'm very aware that our living room is so tiny, so I wanted to provide some seating outside to compensate. Again, participating in dirt obsessed activities, I even added a little pond at the front and I can just imagine pretend duckies swimming and in hindsight I totally should have added that. Bloxburg does have rubber duckies, but whatever. <laughs> Moving on. Lastly, I added another sitting area for our back porch and I think we are done. So to recap, Room 1 is a part of the hallway, room 2 toilet, room 3 bathroom, room 4 a closet, room 5 toddler's room, room 6 entrance slash playroom, room 7 the living room, room 8 the main bedroom, room 9 the dining room, and room 10 the kitchen. That was a mouthful. <laughs> so now it is time to tour you around our tile challenge house and keep in mind that I did do my best although I 
could have planned ahead. I suppose it all worked out nicely in the end anyways. So this is our farmhouse. I wanted to put a ute over there instead of that type of car but we don't have utes yet or truck whatever you call it. I like to make characters and put them in my builds. So I created this like grandmother or grandparents right and created their grandchild with them. So this is where they live. So you can see the grandmother has like pastimes like gardening and all that and uh going inside as you can see i'm a fully grown like adult not not in real life i mean yes in real life but in blocksburg right now that's why i'm it's pretty tight this is the bathroom as you can see there's another door like connecting to the main bedroom like i mentioned before uh we're gonna tackle that later as well for now we're gonna go into the toddler's room uh it's very cute but it doesn't have a window <laughs> i feel so bad yeah it doesn't have a window but this is what it looks like and I put two vents over there in the corner, by the way, because I feel like the kid isn't getting enough oxygen. This is their little playroom. I like how, you know, there's toys around and it's like a grandmother homey vibe. I don't know. I really like it. It hits like close to home because I was raised by my like grandparents. So I love the vibe of this whole house. This is a sneak peek of the kitchen, but for now we're going to be heading to the main bedroom area. This is the grandmother's room or like grandparents' room and honestly very simple, very minimalistic in some ways. Um, yeah, nothing too complicated. They also have a closet which I mentioned before is connecting to the bathroom. This is what I mean, it has like two entrances, right? And I definitely use the new Bloxburg items for the bathroom and oh my gosh, it's like saving my life right now. I love it so much. I don't know about you guys, but this is like a dream update for me. We're just lacking so much in the bathroom department. And finally, we finally have some shampoos, conditioners, lotions, whatever they came up with. But yes, uh, yeah, moving on to the kitchen. I think this might be my favorite. I did not regret using the biggest room for the kitchen whatsoever because look at it. Oh, I love it so much. Um, It is a little bit short though. That's me trying to jump right there. See how I can't jump? Yeah, that's why I said it's like a hobbit house. And this is the dining. Honestly, simple and very, very homey. And I even managed to put a little ironing board over there. I love it. And this is the outdoor area. As you can see, you can see like a little guitar over there. And I imagine a grandfather just strumming and teaching his grandson how to play the guitar. I love it. Um, let me know how I went. But yeah, that's the end of this. Bye.